44% on third down. Sets, throws, a crossing pattern caught by Travis Hunter. Spins away from the defender to the 10 yard line, to the five, to the end zone. I'm telling you, he is not human. He's from another world. Travis Hunter, after missing three games, he caught it on a crossing pattern. He spun a man into the ground and then took it to the end zone of 24 yards. I know we're all thinking football, but basketball is just around the corner here at the University of Colorado, back in the Buffalo Stampede, voice of the boss, Mark Johnson. In fact, this weekend, the men and the women both have an exhibition game. The women at 1 o'clock versus Adam State, the men in the evening against Metro State. And just ahead of basketball season, we hooked up with a couple of players. Let's start on the men's side. Luke O'Brien, one of the veterans for Colorado. All right, you've been in practice now for a couple of weeks. Yep. Give us a feel of uh, how things are going. It's very competitive, that's for yeah. sure. Uh, a lot of guys, you know, wanting to compete every day. You know, the freshmen coming in here trying to compete all the time. Uh, but I love it. We have a lot of mistakes, obviously. Um, but, you know, we're, we're, we're learning really well. And, uh, no, I just, I just love the team so far. Being an upperclassman, yeah. what, what changes for you? Responsibility, taking yeah. more weight on you? What, what all changes? Yeah, definitely a, a leadership role. Uh, I got to be more vocal. Got to, you know, coach the younger guys, making sure they're in the right spots and stuff, being encouraging, whatever they need. So it's just more like a mental, not a mental strain, but just a mental, like, piece for me to yeah. just always be, you know, locked in for practice every day. So. As you've grown as a player, I'm not talking physical. I'm talking about up here now. You, yeah. you and I had conversations yeah. Yes. Okay. Is there more of a comfort level and understanding, yeah. confidence? I'm mm -hmm. I'm here and I know Absolutely. what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I felt like last year throughout, like like I said, I talked to you about it, where I just felt like I didn't really belong yeah. up until you know junior year, and I finally got that confidence piece. So now it's like. I want that confidence to kind of rub off on other guys because uh, I know, you know, how much work it takes to, you know, be mentally prepared for the college game. So, no, I'm I'm 100% there right now. So I'm, The young sorry. fellas. There's yeah. a lot of talent there. Oh, yeah. Give, give us a quick uh, scouting report on those, those I guys. I love all of them because yeah. they compete, like I said, and, they're, and, and they want to learn. You know, they want to get better. Um, but I just love all the guys. You know, they they just had a great personality with them. Um, we played we played against some vets versus rooks yesterday. It didn't go so well for them, but they they wanted to compete, and that, that's all that matters really. So yeah. I'd have to think too. You got KJ and Tristan and you. You guys have been together a long yeah. time. Played a lot of basketball. Yes. There's a comfort level that comes from that, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Like. Like you said, our, our chemistry is really well. I mean, me and Vaughn, you know, we were roommates last year, and yeah. we got another year together too, so we got that. But no, our chemistry level now, I, I think it's three years for most of these guys together. It's it's uh, rock solid now. It just kind of reminds me of my freshman year with Ken, Ev, you know, Deshaun, Dallas, Maddox, all those guys. So, yeah, Dariah. Well, he's an upperclassman. He's going to be leading the Buffaloes as the season's just about to get underway. Luke O'Brien, he's from the Metro area at a Columbine High School, going to be a big-time contributor for the Buffaloes, great defensive player, great rebounder, energy guy for the Buffaloes. Again, they've got Metro State coming in on Saturday night for an exhibition game. The win will play earlier today against Adams State. You know who's going to be a big contributor for them is Quay Miller. All right, Sweet 16 a year ago. What does that do for your offseason? Does it make you hungrier? Does it make you want to work harder? What, what does it do for a team? Yeah, for me, it made me want to rest. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, because <laughs> the Sweet 16 games, building up to that, it was just really hard yeah. um, mentally and physically. So I think everyone just needed a, um, a really long and nice break so we didn't have to hear the coaches. We didn't have to hear any outside noise. Just take a time to really reset our mental. And I was talking to Jalen Sherrod, and, and she said, we got a taste of the Sweet 16. Mm -hmm. I want to taste what comes after that, though. Yeah. Same I, for you? It definitely. I think that just building on, like, from last, not this year, last year, going mm -hmm. to the tournament first round, going to the Sweet 16, I just, I just think that the whole team knows, like, okay, for that to be our pattern, we have to go more. We have to do more. We know we can do more. Just because it, it's, it's been shown, like, we can do more each year as we grow. There's such a great veteran nucleus, mm -hmm. yourself, Frida, Jalen, going on down the line, Kendall. There's players that have played a lot of basketball. Mm -hmm. That helps to get the season underway, because you can jump into this thing at full speed, can't you? And then yeah. Bring the younger players along. Of right. That's what I was saying the other day in, a, um, in an interview. It's just, it's not, it's not just JR coaching now. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, she has um, amazing staff, amazing coaching staff, but now she has me coaching, Kendall, Frida, Tamia. There's a lot of vets that can say things that JR doesn't need to say. So JR can focus on what actually needs to get done. We can take care of the nuances, but the bigger things that that's JR can focus on, we have the rest. Is that something that, that you as veterans talk about or does it just happen naturally? I think that it's just something that happens naturally. Like yeah. Jalen's a natural leader, Frida's a natural leader, Kendall's a natural leader. And I think that just because we have our own different ways of leading, it just works together so well. We all lead in different ways. So 
we all just work off one another instead of everyone, one person taking all the responsibility. The job of every player when one season ends is to get better for the next season. Mm -hmm. What did you work on? What are you improved on? Like I said, I just really took a lot of rest. I had right. to reset. I think that um, I worked on my three so I could be great at that. Yeah. I had, um, to me, it had told me like, you're not great at anything yet. You do a lot of okay. things well, but you're just not great. So I just took that to heart and I was like, okay, well help me be great. There what can I do? And I just think that she just watched my film and helped me get better at things that I needed to work on. So during the off season, she got better at shooting threes and taking naps. Yep. It was <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Coy Miller is going to be an anchor for the Colorado women's basketball team this season. Great to start talking hoops. Coy Miller, Luke O'Brien. Again, the men's and women's team have their exhibition games on Saturday at the event center. Speaking of Saturday, we're going to be on the road with football at the Rose Bowl as Colorado takes on UCLA. That's a 5.30 kickoff in Los Angeles. Gary and I are going to hit the air at 3.30 at a Colorado Football Network with the pregame show. That'll wrap up this week's Bubble Stampede. I'm Voice of the Bus, Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you next week.